welcome. Today is Monday, the 24th of June. And I've, I used to say all the time, what a week. And I haven't had to say it for a while, but I'm going to say what a week. Monday after our last call, that evening, things started. And there was, for me at least, a lightness, a clarity, a really beautiful feeling in the energetic environment. And I could feel it starting, like I was matching that internally. Honestly, it felt like home. And it was like that. And I found everybody that I came into contact with too was sort of gentler. Everything was just gentler. And it stayed that way Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Wednesday evening, it changed. And try, I don't know what day this was. Whatever day I posted it, I think. Um, oh, I wrote it on Wednesday. So before everything changed, I... um. I had this little voice in my head go, go and re-listen to Santaro's Leo reading from last year that she dedicated to you for your birthday. I went, okay, random, but all right. And I was as I was listening to it, I'm thinking, this feels very much like now. You know, she did a she did one of those 12 months in advance readings. And then she talked about the tower. And as she held up the tower card, I froze. I stopped the video. I took a screenshot. The particular tower card she used or that came up was almost identical to what I call the beast from what I call the beast vision that I had in 2013. And that was that all came with the message of the beast chokes on its own creation. And I went, okay. Interesting. <laughs> and the reading was called How the Story Ends. Sorry, we've still got people jumping in. Um, she also, there was stuff in it that started to sound very much like Russ's flip, for those of you who've been on those calls or heard those calls. And then... So I'm like, okay, interesting reference to 2013, reference to the beast choking on its own creation, which happened in 13. And then Amanda Lawrence posts a like a warning, not a warning message, but a, a message saying that uh, she's been told she's going to get pulled out of her body and she doesn't know how long she's going to be gone for. And I'm like, I sort of had a chuckle to myself, well, that sounds familiar because that's what happened to me in 2013. Oh, here we go. There's two now. Um, so that all happened. And then Wednesday, it was a shift. And I, in, in hindsight, it was almost like I got to feel that at the beginning of the week for a couple of reasons. One was to let me know that home was in charge, home, the home energy was underlying all of what was about to take place. And <clears throat> Wednesday evening, yeah, it started to shift and it was almost like that ominous something's coming feeling. And then, oh, um, I, am, I, can't, I can't even tell you what the references were and what kept taking me back there, but it was boss level. It was, and the weekend itself was fucking eventful. And the, I had a very, very strange dream on Saturday night, Saturday the 22nd. And then I'm seeing other people, like it, it was a very unusual dream in that I was somewhat lucid in it, which is not my thing. I don't do lucid dreams necessarily. But it wasn't like I was lucid in the sense of, oh, I'm dreaming. 
it was lucid in the sense of being aware that I was in some sort of fucked up, distorted reality, timeline, something. And was watching all of the, like everything was distorted, the landscape, the buildings, the people, and everybody was behaving in a distorted fashion. Everybody was manipulating each other. And I was, I felt like the only real person in there going, what's going on? Why is everyone playing along? Like they're not, they're like, they're not seeing the distortions and the manipulations. Um, but then I started to see other people who make comments all over the place going, oh, I had the weirdest dream on Saturday night. So I'm keen to see if anybody in here had a real, like an unusual dream for them on Saturday the 22nd. Yeah.